okay now here comes last but very important options couple of very important options minus d option with minus d option you can ping with some specific data so if i give again i will keep minus 1000 and minus d data say 2 now i am generating the ping packets with data as 2 okay now let me generate large number of ping packets say 1000 packets okay now i am generating 1000 packets every 100 millisecond single packet with data as 2 i mean the contents of the data will be 2 let me open wireshark and see how these packets are getting generated and now all these packets are new packets and if you see the data bytes here all these bytes are filled with 2 2 2 okay so now the data is getting filled as 2 okay now let me stop it let's see the next option now these last two options are very important option c minus g option i can ping a range of host that's the beauty with f ping with ping you can only ping a certain host with the help of f ping we have already seen how to control the time delay between two pings how to control how many pings i want to send how to control the data of the ping how to control the length of data how to control control the content of data etc but still we were pinging a single host if i want to ping some 10 hosts yes ping can also do that okay so with the help of minus g option you can ping number of hosts so your option should be should be minus g your start address of the host slash the end address of the host so i will write something like f ping dot exe minus g my ip address i want to ping 170 i want to ping 172 28 2900 to say 172 28 29 105 all this five address i want to ping so ping will go ahead and it will keep on pinging 100 101 102 103 104 105 and and all these address will be ping so for 100 and 101 i received ping re ping replies for 2 and 3 i did not receive any replies for 4 and 5 again i received replies so which clearly means there are hosts present on 100 101 100 104 105 but no hosts are present on 102 103 so likewise if you want to see the connectivity between all the computers on your subnet you can easily go ahead and do with minus g option so it will be a very handy tool for administrator in that way now comes one more option minus h option you don't want to do it continuously but you only want to do it for some three ip addresses how to mention these ip addresses with minus h option you can give file name as a input so with minus h option you have to give a complete full file name with path as a input and inside that file you can mention all the ip addresses that you want to ping now very important thing to remember a delimiter for these ip addresses is comma so these ip addresses should be separated with comma no blank space no carriage return no enter anything only these ip addresses should be separated with comma otherwise f ping will give error important thing to remember ip addresses to be delimited by comma okay with this minus h option will work excellent it will only ping those ip addresses which are present in that file and the last option which is redirection option minus l logging to text file so all the ping outputs from success and failure thing to the statistics everything will be copied to a file now why this option is very important again for again for scripting if you want to do some analysis on this ping packets on this delays or on this statistics or on this success failures you can surely do that very easily if you can 
copy all the output in a file because file operation is very easy this command line operations are not that scalable so if you want to do a scalable day to day cron job kind of thing you can do this with redirection to file now with this we have discussed all the options which are supported by fping utility now these options or with the help of these options you can easily tweak the fping and you can change the data size you can change the data content you can change the number of host you want to ping or you can change the time delay between two packets or you you can change number of packets and all these things you can do so that the connectivity between you and your other hosts can be easily determined that's it for this video feel free to browse other security tube videos we have videos on programming socket programming c programming tutorials then wireless hacking tools like erodump wireshark etc feel free to browse those videos as well thank you